This is the uh, Modular 114 uh, made by Sound Machines. And this is my initial uh, thoughts after owning this uh, semi module for a few months now. Uh, I really like it. I've done a couple of tunes with it on YouTube so far. And um, right out the box, what I really like about this synth is that you can start using it. Um, it has a very warm synth sound, it has digital effects without doing any patching. Um, everything's already pre wired internally. So there's no need to do any patching if you just want to just play, you know, with the analog sounds. And it has really nice warm digital effects. So that's one of the things I really like. It has a very warm analog sound. Um, it's a lot. It's, it's very complicated. You have to really learn some of the meanings of these utility modules um, before you can really understand what you're doing. So when I first got it, all I was doing is just patching, and by trial and error, I started to learn some things. And those are the things I'm going to show you in this uh, few minutes of this review. So let's start off with a patch called the uh, filter sampling hole. And in this scenario, I'm using the um, the sample hole feature here, the attenuator, the slew, the LFO, the filter section, and the uh, pink noise. Um, there's much more possibilities in which you can shape the sample and hole function and, and twist and bend it using all the other utility modules. But this is just a basic uh, idea of what you can expect just using a basic patch on the uh, Modular 104. <laughs> And if we add a little bit onboard effects, effects uh, like delay, so that's just a quick example of the uh, filter sampling hole. All right, let's go into another um, patch that I've discovered called the uh, ring mod. So this is a patch example of the ring mod. I'm using the uh, XOR. I'm using the um, the mixer, the VCO2, and the P PWM, and this is an example of what a ring mod would sound like. And of course, like I said, I love onboard digital effects, which kind of warms up the sound. You can kind of get those bell sounds. And of course, you can use the, um, the VCO2 to adjust the pitch. So you kind of get the idea. So that's that's one of the. Um, this is a patch uh, modification I really like uh, using utilizing the ring mod. All right, let's go on to the next patch. So here's another example of the uh, ring mod modified using other utility functions, oscillators, using some of the filter, uh, using the LFO, and just kind of just patching at random. And here's what I came up with. So that's just a crazy example. Now, pretty much, you don't really know what 
type of sound you're going to get as you're tweaking the knobs. You're just tweaking knobs to your satisfaction. And, you know, that's basically sound creation right there. So once again, if we had to look at the, um, the Modular 114 unpatched right out the box, I mean, I just really admire the, um, the warm analog sound. A lot of times when I'm doing a song and I just need a synth sound, I'll use this and I won't even patch anything just so I can get that nice analog synth sound. And if you just want to get a basic uh, punchy bass sound, this is definitely good for bass. So here's a final example because um, this video won't allow me to go into every single scenario. But this, these are just a few patches that I've enjoyed since I've had this uh, Modular 114. This is an example using the uh, ribbon controller. And this is where the fun begins. Just start patching and explore and just do as you wish to your heart's desire. And you can come up with some, you know, pretty decent crazy sounds. And so sometimes you just don't know what's going to come out when you start patching. And that's the beauty of uh, modular gear. You start patching and you come up with some interesting tones. Well, so this is it. This is the uh, modular 114. Uh, Semi-module. Uh, all self-contained in one unit. Uh, with a lot of features. A lot of um, utility modules. Onboard effects. A very, very nice ADSR section with looping capabilities. Oscillators, filters very warm sound if you're looking to get in a semi module this is the unit to go with i mean i highly recommend it um, this is just my quick um initial thoughts after having it for a few months and i just want to share all right it with guys you. thanks a lot for watching and uh take care